stumbled across cornhole probably 15, 16 years ago. Uh, and it was local tournaments got advertised online for probably 200, 500 bucks at the time. And you know, being 15, 16 years old, that's a lot of money to us. So it really kind of piqued our interest to, to go win the money and gave us a reason to be outside and playing the game. I would say probably the first couple times we heard of out-of-towners coming into Chicago to come and play and compete with us for the money and you know for the price of the hand. Uh, that was Matt Guy, Steve Vandiver, who's kind of not playing much anymore, but uh, Randy Atha. I mean, these are these are the OG baggers from, from a long time ago. So I I quit playing um, for about four or five years once I started a family, and then. It started hitting, hitting big with the ACL on ESPN. And again, it was all the OG guys that I kept seeing on TV. And so I went uh, and showed up at the qualifier, really without playing competitive cornhole for you know, those four to five years and decided to give it a shot and uh, I qualified. So it was uh, definitely a very, very stressful set of rounders uh, that we had to go through. And uh, the competition was, was tough. And, uh, yeah, definitely stressful. Yeah, a lot of joy, but it was a lot of, I guess, what's the right word, uh, self-fulfillment knowing that I can still hang with these guys, and especially after not playing for so long. So I think the, the best win is always gonna be with the first one. And it was back with the first shootout uh, in Erie, Pennsylvania, when me and Steven were able to put ourselves in for the final eight. Well, from a performance standpoint, you know, we've got nothing nothing to do but continue to practice and, and just improve on where we've been. Um, you know, I, I definitely want to crack the top 25, top 20 in singles. And I think from a doubles perspective, uh, me and Burns, we, we, our goal is to win a national. We were there time and time again, every national, first in the bracket, second in the bracket. Uh, so we know we belong. Now it's just getting over that final hump and securing the securing the win. Can't even describe the the level of detail that these guys have, not only when it comes to making boards but making bags. Um, the facility after visiting the facility here today, it was really an eye opener of you know these guys they know what they're doing and the level of tension that they want us to have with them and it's really kind of created a like a family feel that we're a part of this with them and it's something that we have never experienced we nobody ever approached us in that manner and it was definitely eye-opening and it's, it's been awesome so far hey if you guys are first getting into cornhole don't get frustrated um, just keep practicing. Take a deep breath. You know you're gonna hit some highs and some lows, but it's definitely a it's a lot of fun to play the game and just spend the time. It's you meet a lot of a lot of good people in this game, and from that alone, the relationships that you build are are gonna really kind of take precedent over even your wins and losses as well.